In this morning's New Zealand Herald headlines, police visit Gora's Gardaman's home as investigations into shoplifting allegations continue. The terrifying moment a Rotorua mother catches a prowler outside her home. And Kiwis flock to book their next getaway, the most popular destination, probably won't surprise you. Antamaria, I'm Sherry Kinnear. It's Wednesday, the 17th of January. The investigation into three shoplifting allegations against Golras Gardaman is continuing. The Greenlist MP has resigned from Parliament, saying her mental health has been badly affected by the stress of her work. Four hours after her resignation and public apology, two police detectives visited her Greylin home, where they received no answer when they knocked on her door. Party co-leader James Shaw says she's been subject to continuous threats of sexual violence, physical violence and death threats. The Mental Health Foundation Chief Executive Sean Robinson says this continues to shine a spotlight on Parliament. If we have created an environment where the people we are asking to represent us and lead us are being essentially damaged by the process, then I think we've really got to ask ourselves some pretty searching questions. A reminder, water restrictions are now in place in the Wellington region, not just the city. Parirua, Wellington, Lower Hutt and Upper Hutt all face Level 2 restrictions, banning outdoor sprinklers and irrigation systems for residential properties. It comes as a significant portion of the region's water is lost due to leaky pipes. It's seen authorities have to plan for a regional state of emergency if water levels get so low that suburbs run dry this summer. A Rotorua mum has been left horrified after a prowler was caught creeping around her home and peering into her windows. Jacina Sayers Kiriona received a phone call from her neighbour's landlord on Saturday night telling her a man was outside and to lock her doors. Terrified, Kiriona called a friend to help who drove to her home and confronted the man before he took off running. Police say they've made a number of inquiries to identify the man responsible and that these inquiries are ongoing. A nervous wait for many as secondary school exam results get set to be released today. NCEA results will be released online and New Zealand scholarship results will follow in just over three weeks. More than 160,000 students will be able to see their provisional results and whether they've been awarded course endorsements, a certificate endorsement or university entrance. More than 53,000 students completed one or more exams digitally, including 18,500 students on one day. And the holiday period's only just wrapped up for many, but travel agents are already seeing influxes of people organising their next getaway. Flight centres seen a surge in booking since last Monday when many started back at work. They've been up 25% compared to the week prior and 20% from last month. The UK and Europe are the most popular destinations so far, followed by Fiji, Rarotonga and the Gold Coast. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more news worth knowing, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai te rā. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.